Assalamualaikum. Today I will discuss with you question 4 from June 2019 final examination. Okay, from the question 4, you are given the statement of profit or loss for the year ended 34, 31st December 2018 for Pink Beauty Enterprise and also the statement of financial position as at 31st December 2018. From the question, uh, you have been asked to calculate the following ratio for Pink Beauty Enterprise for the year ended 31st December 2018. Number one, event three turnover ratio. Okay, for the event three turnover ratio, the formula is um, cost of goods sold or cost of sale divided with average event three. In order to get the average event three, you need to add up the opening event three with the closing event three and then you time times the amount with the one over two or half okay let's look at the amount of cost of sale or cost of goods sold where you can find it in the statement of profit or loss cost of goods sold is equal to 124,952 Whereby for our average inventory, the opening inventory can be found also in the statement of financial uh, profit or loss. The opening inventory is equal to 33,540 plus with the closing inventory, closing inventory is equal to 28,738 and then you times the, uh, times the opening plus closing inventory with half. And you will get the amount of 31139. And then you divide the cost of sale 124,952 with the average event three cost amounted to 31,139. And the answer you will get is four times. And for the next question, number two, calculate the current ratio. For Pink Beauty Enterprise, the current ratio formula is current asset divided with current liability. So this information can be found in the statement of financial position where the amount of current asset is equal to 64,824 and for current liabilities, the total is 36,656. You divide the current asset which is 6 4,824 with the current liability of 36,656 and the amount of current ratio is equivalent to 1.77. And the next question, number three is quick ratio. The formula is current asset minus with closing inventory minus with prepaid expenses divide with current liability. All this information can be found in the statement of financial position. The current asset is equal to 64824 and for the closing inventory is equal to 28738 and prepaid expenses and the current asset is equal to 4000. And then for the, uh, and then you might uh, you take the total current asset minus with closing inventory minus with prepaid expenses you will get the amount of 32086. And next is to divide the amount with the current liability. Total current liability is equal to 36656. And you divide the, um, the amount of 32086 with 36656, you will get the answer of 0 0.88. And for the question four, Calculate the gross profit margin. The formula is gross profit margin divided with net sale times with 100%. Gross profit can be found in the SOPL. The amount of gross profit is equal to 484 to 48. And then for the net sale, the amount is 609200. And then times the amount with 100%. So you will get the answer of uh, 7.949%. 7.949% for the gross profit margin. And the next question, number five, 
net profit margin. The formula is net profit divided with net sale times with 100%. Net profit is in the statement of profit or loss. Okay, the amount of net profit is equal to 178802. And then divide with the net sale amounted to 609200 and then time with 100%. So you will get the answer for net profit margin at 29.35%. And for the last question, account receivable collection period, the formula is account receivable divided with credit sale. This credit sale needs to be divided with 365 days. Okay, so how much is the amount of account receivable? Please find it in your statement of uh, financial position under current assets. So account receivable is equal to 17176. Whereby for the credit sale, refer to the notes. Credit sale is 35% from total sales during the year. So, 35% from total sale. Total sale is in the statement of profit or loss, which is equal to 610,000 ringgit. So, 35%, and then you times it with 610 ringgit to get the amount for credit sale. And then this amount will be divided with 365 days, which is equivalent to 585. So 17,176 divided with 585 is equal to 29.36 or equal to 29th day. For the next question B, you need to explain the event return over ratio, quick ratio, net profit margin, and receivable collection period for Pink Beauty Enterprise for the year ended 31st December 2018. It means that you need to interpret the ratio that you have calculated in A above. Okay, for event return over ratio, the answer is 4. So what does it mean? It means that the business replace its inventory four times in a year. And for the quick ratio, the answer uh, in A3 is 0 0.88. So what does it mean? So it means that the business has 88 cents of quick asset or liquid asset to pay its one ringgit of current liability. And for the next one is regarding the, the net profit margin and the answer is 29.35%. So what does it mean? So it means that the business earned 29 ringgit, 25, 35 cent net profit from 100 ringgit of sale. And for the last one, account receivable collection period. The answer is 29 day. It means that the business take about one month or 29 days to collect debt from its debtor. And for the last question, see, you need to explain briefly two importance of financial statement and receipts and financial ratio. So the importance of financial statement and receipts and financial ratio are to be able to identify the weaknesses and also the strength of a business. And then for after the uh, after the business has identified its weaknesses, it need to take action in order to overcome its weaknesses. So that's all for this question.